Hey guys, Yastro here. Have some more exclusive Battlefield 4 footage. In this video, I'm gonna go over every launcher in the engineering class. Including the Battlefield pickup. As you can see from this screen, there are five anti-tank launchers and two anti-air weapons. Now, each of these have a description and you can check it out here, but let me simplify it for you. You're gonna like this. Each of the anti-tank launchers are unique. And here's the only thing you need to understand. The easier it is to use, the less damage it does. Let's start off with the easiest. The first one is the MBT Law. This is a true fire and forget missile. You point it in the direction of a vehicle, you fire, and it does the rest. While it is the easiest of all the launchers, it also does the least amount of damage. Moving on to the second launcher, we have the FGM-148, also known as the Javelin. But don't let that name deceive you. Watch this. If I do not maintain my lock, the missile just goes into the sky. But if I do maintain my lock, the missile hit its target. The Javelin is no longer a fire and forget weapon. But what if you want something with a bit more damage? Let's move on to the FGM-172 short range assault weapon, also known as the Predator Shraw. The Shraw is a wire guided weapon. It operates just like the tow missile. You launch it, then move your sights to guide in that missile. But if you don't get in correctly, it's not going to hit its target. Now, if you're looking for something with a bit more punch, that's more classic Battlefield 3, then look no further than the Mark 153 shoulder launch multi purpose assault weapon, also known as the SMA. I didn't get a lot of footage of the SMA, so I'm going to repeat this a few times. It's pretty straightforward. The SMA operates like it does in Battlefield 3, however, it does not have an arc in its trajectory. The rocket has a flat flight path. Finally, this brings us to the most powerful but also most difficult launcher in the game, the RPG-7. Like the small, the RPG-7 fires a rocket, but instead of a flat trajectory, it has an arced trajectory like in Battlefield 3. With the RPG-7, you must compensate for both distance, elevation, and whether your target's moving or not. It is by far the most difficult of all the launchers but it does the most damage. Let's move on to the Man Portable Air Defense Systems, also known as Man Pads, talking about the Stinger and Igla. Unlike in Battlefield 3, they are two different weapons. The Stinger operates just like in Battlefield 3. You lock on the target, you fire, and you forget. The missile will guide its way to its target, and you can engage again. The Igla, on the other hand, is a bit more difficult. The Igla operates like the Stinger, but you must maintain a lock or your missile will not hit its target. All right, those are all the launchers you can equip. But remember, there are still stationary launchers like this, the HJ-8, courtesy of spectator mode. Watch what Gold Glove TV does with that HJ-8 launcher against level cap Minnesota Burr and Drifter. What a great Battlefield moment, courtesy of spectator mode. But I know you guys are getting antsy. We gotta talk about the Battlefield pickup. What is it? Well, I did manage to pick it up. In game, it's known as the HVM-2, which stands for High Velocity Missile. It's also known as the Star Street. This missile attacks both air and ground targets and operates like the Javelin. You must maintain your lock and hit your target, but you can hit both air and ground targets. Now, I don't know how much damage it does, but you only get two shots. It has to do a lot of damage. The Star Street was only available after the destroyer crashed into the island. It was not available before the Levolution. All right, that's all I got for the launchers, but wait, I still have one more exclusive. That's right, EOD bot. Objective Delta's been lost. Yep, that's it. Thanks for watching, and for those that wanted to hear more of the audio, I'm going to replay all the clips that I just showed without me talking. So enjoy.
Objective Delta's been lost. Objective Delta's been lost. <laughs> 